What's up my ninjas, it's your boy Onel here back with another FIFA Mobile video. Carnival event is here and it is time to party! Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed those few clips. I'm gonna leave the link to the full video in the description. And now it's time to talk business guys. Let's get to the serious work we have to talk about, the carnival event. In this video I'm gonna talk what is the best way to play, to do and how you can optimize your event. Now, I would like to tell you straight off the bat that it, this is not a very good free to play event. If you are completely free to play, then you're gonna have some problems because you can get masks every 12 hours and because you can only play one skill game every 12 hours before you're gonna be able to unlock the next region. That should take you like three, four days and the events last only one week and so you can maximum get to the second skill game uh, as you can see, I have them all unlocked because I purchased the offer, the $5 one. However, I acknowledge that lots of people can do that. And for that reason, this is not such a great carnival event. In order to get the first spirit that everybody will get, you need 8 masks. And you can get those masks if you don't trade your confettis for masks. You can get those in like 4 days. But if you're gonna be able to trade your confettis, then maybe you're gonna get them in like two days if you have stamina if you don't have stamina it's gonna take a while but after you get Jerson you can you can play this Germany lane as well and I think that's that I think you can't uh, move up to Spain because it's gonna take so much stamina so much time to get the 20 Germany masks that I just don't think it's doable free to play for that reason I would go up to claiming the left back I wouldn't choose the Germany path in order to continue but it also depends on what mask you're gonna get but if you can get Jorge um, yeah I would get him because he's such a beast beast left back and he's gonna be tradable when the event ends and yeah I just think he's one of the best left backs in the game if not the best to be honest uh, he has, yes, a bit low of aggression, but the other stats are just insanely good. Let's talk a bit about the confettis uh, and the offers from the store. Every time you play a skill game, you get from 1 to 5 confettis. I've played some skill games and I think the drop rate is pretty decent. Also, we get a broken mask. A uh, chance that I think you can get like every 6, um, six or 7 packs. I'm gonna do a video showing what's the drop rate later on today. But... Let's talk a bit about the offers from the store. You, for those confettis you can get coins. Um, don't get these offers guys. Don't get the coins times 50 offer. I mean you get like 300k for 300 confettis. Which is just not worth it. The 75 masks offers. Yeah they could be worth it if you really need some masks. But don't pick up Germany masks if you haven't already unlocked the Germany path yet. The last offer. It's available only if uh, only if you bought the offer. I got the Spain uh, Carnival offer earlier today just because the players are so expensive when the offers come out because nobody has them, right? And I was lucky enough to get this guy. As 
you can see i got the best one and look for what he sold for now again this event is made to encourage buying the five dollars offer i don't know what to say about that if you can afford it like if it doesn't bother you then i say yes go for it but at the same time i am aware that lots of people don't have the money and if you don't want to put effort into that it's not like it's one dollar right? it's five dollars so ea is starting to to want more and more money which is normal which is understandable but there are so many people that can't afford it so it is what it is regarding the brazil party packs that everybody has unlocked uh, i didn't open them yet i'm gonna do pack opening video which i'll open them but i'm not sure how much worth it it is especially since the brazilian players are not rare at all i will say this though i will say this uh this 80 cdm danilo is one of the best cards in game i mean he has just one of a kind stats for an 80 rated card okay plus 10 skill boosts, but 94 tackling 90 marking 95 aggression 89 strength 87 heading for an 80 rated card imagine how he will look at 90 at 95 at 100 i might even do a review on this guy let me know if you want to see that i'm not sure how many people will use him because the xp for petit it's much easier to acquire but god damn this is an insane card moving on to the final part of this mask you can trade the broken masks for uh real masks obviously you're gonna do that because you can't do anything else with the broken masks and that's mostly it to be honest uh now if you are going to buy the five dollars offer and you have all the offers unlocked you might think okay let's go and grind the event you will get guaranteed four masks every 12 hours which it might sound good but it's not that good guys because look from eight skill games i got six brazilian masks one i completed one event and two spain masks so it's not that easy to get the germany mask which you need in order to unlock the spain mask this is what i come up to instead of trying to complete gerson and after that trying to complete jung yes he's gonna become tradable but guys that's that that doesn't mean too much and after that trying to get fernando torres and he's gonna be really hard to get him because we need like 35 spain masks i'm not even gonna touch the augustine player because obviously it's not possible to get him instead of trying to do this and trade your confettis for spain masks or germany masks this is what i encourage you to do obviously if you already claimed the offer the five dollars one just go to the store every time the 300 confetti offer comes up refreshes just buy the spain the rest of the world and maybe the germany offer you see what i got right yes i got Vallejo. he's like the most expensive player i got three million for him right with 300 confettis if i would have used those 300 confettis to get coins i would have got like 300k right this guy Soler is 2 million right now uh, iOS Perez is 1 million yes he might drop a bit but uh, that doesn't make his not still the best offer in 8 hours uh, this offer will refresh and I'm thinking we're gonna get the rest of the world guaranteed Carnivalers they are the best one I mean we have Akinhev 89 we have Balanta 88 and 86 areas these players will be from 3 millions up in the first one hour i can have might even be like five or six million if not more who knows i mean <laughs> look at that wow wow what are we talking about guys <laughs> are you kidding me i need to compare him with yashin guys he might be better than yashin oh my god i can't believe it wow if i can get him that would be insane anyway my point is if you did buy the five dollars offer you have to buy this 300 confetti one because it's worth a lot and you can get so much more coins than if you would struggle to get fernando torres or jung if you're gonna buy the five dollars uh offer the unlocking offer then you can get these offers if not you you're gonna be stuck with the brazil one and i don't think the brazil one it's so because you can get those low rated players and everybody has those players and the price for those pairs is so so low like 300k and going down so yeah 
Unfortunately, it is not for free to play, but it's the reality. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Share if you think my content is worth it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.